Hello all, this is Dr. Kartika from Department of Biomedical Engineering, SNS College of Technology, Coimbatore. Today we are going to discuss about Wiener filtering in image restoration and segmentation. In previous topic, we have discussed about inverse filtering. Okay, what do you mean by Wiener filtering? In some applications, inverse filtering is not suited. So, we go with Wiener filtering. Okay. Here, the Wiener filtering, it was one of the first methods developed to reduce additive random noise in images. It works on the assumption that additive noise is a stationary random process. It, uh, it is independent of pixel location. The algorithm minimizes the square error between the original and reconstructed images. So here, uh, for particular applications to reduce the additive random noise in images, we prefer Wiener filtering rather than inverse filtering. Okay. Uh, the main objective of Wiener filter is to minimize the mean square error. It has the capability to handling both degradation function and noise. From the restoration model, the error between input image f of m comma n and the estimated image f cap of m n is given by e of m n it is equal to f of m n minus f cap of m n okay uh, here e of m n is your estimated image e of m n it is equal to f of m n minus f cap of m n here Wiener filters are comparatively slow to apply since they require working in frequency domain to speed up this filtering one can take the inverse FFT of Wiener filter G of UB to obtain an impulsive response G of NM. This impulse response can be truncated spatially to produce a convolutional mask. Okay. Here, see here, this is the model for Wiener filtering uh, which uses both degradation and noise your input is f of x y and which is fed into degradation function h and it takes both noise and degradation so noise e to of x y which is summed up with degradation function the output is g of x y which is fed into wiener filter and we'll get the output f cap of x y okay in this model your input is f of x y Wiener filter output is f cap of x y and we have noise n of x y and we have the degradation function output which is g of x y see here the examples test image with awgn here sigma n square it is equal to 400 but it is centered inside a 256 cross 256 empty image see here after wiener filtering msc that is mean square error is equal to 121 for 256 cross 256 image msc equal to 1232 for the portion shown here see how an input test image is uh, differed after wiener filtering how it looks like test image with awgn and after wiener filtering in Wiener filtering, the square error is given by f of mn is equal to f cap of mn, the whole square. The mean square error is given by e of f of m comma n minus f cap of mn square, whole square. See here how it differs. The square error, we have only f of mn minus f cap of mn square. And uh, for mean square error, we have e of f of m comma n minus f cap of m n square. Okay, the objective of Wiener filter is uh, top minimize e of f of m n minus f cap of m n square. Given a system, we have y equal to h convolution of x with v h blur function x is your original image and y is your observed image degraded image and also we have v v is your additive noise so the function becomes y equal to h convolution with x with v v is your additive noise the goal is to obtain g such that x cap is equal to g convolution with y 
Here, xcap is the restored image that minimizes mean square error. The deconvolution provides such like g of t. We use convolution and deconvolution here. And in Wiener filter, the filter is described in frequency domain like g of f it is equal to h convolution with f for f uh, and s of f here. Uh, which is divided by h of f modulus h of f square s of f plus n of f g and h are Fourier transform of g and h s mean power of spectral density of x n mean power of spectral density of b here this point this star it represents complex conjugate a Wiener filter drawback is it requires prior knowledge of power spectral density of image which is unavailable in practice Thank you.